They are waiting for me somewhere beyond Eden Rock. My father, 25, in the same suit of genuine Irish tweed. His terrier Jack, still two years old and trembling at his feet. My mother, 23, in a sprig dress drawn at the waist, ribbon in her straw hat, has spread the stiff white cloth over the grass. Her hair, the colour of wheat, takes on the light. She pours tea from a thermos, the milk straight from an old HP sauce bottle, a screw of paper for a cork, slowly sets out the same three plates, the tin cups painted blue. The sky whitens as if lit by three suns. My mother shades her eyes and looks my way over the drifted stream. My father spins a stone along the water. Leisurely, they beckon to me from the other bank. I hear them call. See where the stream path is. Crossing is not as hard as you might think. I had not thought that it would be like this. This is a very quiet a haunting poem which I take to be about death, though it's very much a piece of Causley's style that he doesn't actually tell you that. It's a very beautiful poem in which he imagines arriving in paradise and meeting his parents. It begins with a picture of a family picnic with these immensely touching descriptions of his parents as a young couple. My father, 25 in the same suit of genuine Irish tweed, his terrier Jack, still two years old and trembling at his feet. The dog's two years old, the mother's 23, the father's 25. So time is stopped, almost like in a photograph. There are two of them, but she sets out three plates, three cups. And the milk straight from an old HP sauce bottle, a screw of paper for a cork, which is presumably... <laughs> presumably because she didn't want to use the top of the sauce bottle because it still might contain some flavour of HP sauce which would get into the tea. And there's the mother in her sprig dress, drawn at the waist, ribbon in her straw hat, the careful accumulation of antiquated detail, the stiff white cloth over the grass, her hair, the colour of wheat, takes on the light, and she's lit up like an angel in a, an old picture. And then something extraordinary happens. The sky whitens as if lit by three suns. And that's the only suggestion we get that something kind of extraordinary is, um, is happening. There's a wonderful clarity about it and a simplicity and it's very hard to be simple in a poem. But when I say it's simple, it's, 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 it's very subtle as well. Um, a bad poet would have said, uh, they are waiting for me in the land of the dead and, and spelled it out like that. The parents are just behaving like themselves, and of course, it, that's what he wants. If we imagine meeting people we love in eternity, we want them just to be themselves, not behaving in some sort of different, special way. I love the ending. I love the, 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 dead, the dead parents calling to him and, and wanting him to come across. And that, that last line, I had not thought that it would be like this. I think it's a, it's a, it's a very beautiful poem. It, it's an astonishing poem, I think. So quietly written, so quietly put together, just the accumulation of things that you might see every day in the most ordinary language. You couldn't have thought it would be like that. I hadn't thought of heaven like that, and now I can. <laughs> <laughs> 